Hello everybody, this is Janet from Cherished Treasures Thrifting. We're gonna go uptown today to where the lost things are and see what treasures we can find. If you see anything that you like, please drop me a line at cherishedtreasuresthrifting at gmail.com. All right, here we go. Just gonna start at the front of the store. The owner was going through some books. I love old books. First thing I noticed were these uh, little dishes with the black poodles on them. I can't remember who the who the maker was, but I thought they were really cute. Just an unusual shape and size. So I did pick those up. And there was another one too, but I, I didn't pay much attention. And I looked at this little figurine. I thought it was cute. And this one as well, I thought it was unusual. Wasn't painted very well though. This was some type of cast metal. I'm not quite sure what it would have been used for. Just an unusual piece. Some other things I should have looked at there, but I noticed this little Dutch boy and girl it was made of chalkware. Chalkware is not very forgiving. It can chip and does chip very easily. It's very soft. They were cute though. Then I noticed these toll trays. Somebody put a lot of work into painting those flowers. There were two of them there. Nice size trays. They can sell well. And for as much as I say I don't particularly pick up teacups, I sure look at a lot in this store, but I think it's because they have so many. I thought this one was really pretty. I'm not sure who the maker was. Flowers on the inside of the cup. And this is the horse that I talked about in my last video, the quilted. It's a hobbyist piece, but I know that there's somebody who that I watch on YouTube that likes those, and I, I just can't remember who it is. I look at this planner every time. I think it's really pretty. There's a couple of them in different shapes and sizes. These cups were in the back um, the last time I was there. They must have brought them out to the front. They say, bet you can't. And I bet you can't. That's a large, that'd be an incredible amount of liquid. Then I noticed this Tanala bird. It's from Mexico. It's got this, this smooth glaze on it. I did go ahead and pick that up. There were no cracks or chips. I thought it was nice. It was a nice size. And then I noticed this box. It was a pencil case. Just kind of looking for anything that jumps out at me. A lot of things there. I should have took a little bit more time and looked more, but I noticed this canister. I thought it was tin, but it's ceramic. And it looks very old and rusty. And you can see me feeling it because I just, I, I was really kind of shocked with the way it looked, um, thinking that it was really old. And I was trying to get the lid off. It was extremely difficult. I did not succeed. So I finally said, well, if the lid's that tight, I'm just gonna pick it up and look at it, which I did. It was made in China. There was a tea one also. I just loved them. I thought they were really cool. They just, they looked really neat. Never seen anything like it before. Then I looked at this little planter. There's some, I think it's numbers. I love it when they paint and have that raised floral, you know, design on any kind of pottery or bowls. And it was really pretty, the colors were nice, but it had a large crack. And then I noticed this tray, so I picked up a mug. It was a Japanese tray. I didn't pick it up, but I just kind of glanced at it. And I was looking, I noticed this, I didn't know if it was cards, it's stationary. I don't know if that's Ann Geds, um, Gettys somebody famous who does a lot of cards and a lot of, has a lot of artwork. I thought this little picture was cute. The color was nice. And I loved anything with texture or design on it. And it was ribbed. And the color kind of was an ombre yellow, but it had a large chip. And there's another item I thought was cute, but it looked like it was missing something. And there's a pink depression glass ashtray. I think it was a repo. It looked too nice and new, but quite possibly could have been original depression glass. Just 
looking at the wine glasses. I thought that was a pretty vase. It was etched, but it had a large chip on the top. And then I noticed this crock on the top. I thought it was really cute. I should have picked it up. Um, I realize now that the BH stood for, is it Bishop Hill? And I think it says Bishop Hill, Henry County, on the crock. There's an a large Amish community in the Bishop Hill area and they make a lot of things and I'm sure that was one of their items. You see the Halloween, nothing jumped out at me but there's quite a bit packed into that cabinet. Somebody's water, who would do that, that's crazy. Just kind of, I noticed those striped glasses, so those are cute. And then I saw these glass candle holders. They were running me of Abington pottery. I have some candlesticks that look like that that are pink pottery. These were really nice. They were nice and heavy. I wish I knew who the maker was, but I did put them back. Just looking at a candle and then that picture, but the, it had a lid and you could tell the lid was broken off of it. And then I noticed this little guy in this barrel, and I assume it must have been a salt and pepper shaker, but it was missing one. It was the cutest thing. It was like a nodder. It was kind of scary looking, but I wish the other one would have been there. I would have definitely picked that up. I thought she was cute. Mary, Joseph, and Baby. Jesus. And then I noticed this creamer and sugar bowl. I kind of wish I would have picked those up as well. If I picked up everything, I would have walked out with boxes. But that had some raised moriagi, moriage on the, the lid. It was in a pawn item. And then I wanted to show you these. I've been seeing a lot of these lately. Animals. Those, that was a deer and a squirrel. And... I glanced away, but I glanced back and I noticed this brown, I'm attracted to brown pottery, brown colors, and it was Pigeon Forge. It was a sugar and cream, just a miniature one. But I looked a little further and there was a round bowl in there. They had dogwood, white dogwood flowers painted on them. It was really pretty, the colors were nice, and it was in that very nice condition. I was pretty thrilled to find it. I did pick those items up, and I take them up to the counter to start my pile. I don't believe it's in your hands before with the camera, so that's generally what I do is pick up what I want and take it to the counter. Then I noticed those dog figurines. It was a Afghan hound and a Scotty, and I wish I would have picked those up, but I just bought some figurines, so I left them, but if they're there the next time I go, I will pick those up, they're adorable. I think they were, they were bone china. They were really cute. And then I continue on, Heading toward the next aisle, I noticed this lusterware elephant. It was a souvenir piece from Niagara Falls. I don't generally pick up souvenir pieces. They don't sell well for me. And as I was going back to the counter with another item, I noticed, I looked at the Christmas stuff again, and I thought, I'm just going to double check and see if there's any spode there. And lo and behold, I found three glasses. I wished I would have found a fourth. I did spend quite a bit of time looking. I thought maybe it would manifest if I looked long enough, but it didn't. But I was glad for the three I did find. And then I found some linens. And I thought this was really sweet. Their needle and the thread was still in it. Someone had started it but not finished it. I was looking at the salt and pepper shaker. I thought it was really cute. I wish it would have had the matching, matching one with it. It was adorable. And another bird there, salt and pepper shaker. You can generally tell they're Japan. Um, they're old, they're older when they have the corks. The plastic is newer. These were really cute dishes um, with the birds on them. I'm not sure why I didn't pick those up. But they were adorable. 
and I didn't look at the last one because I started talking to the owner in the store, but I will check those out again when I go back. They're really cute. I thought maybe this was a McCoy picture. It was a mount, but it's a nice heavy piece. And I think this was Shenango pattern. It looked like a restaurant wear cream. It's pretty with the birds on it. And then just looking at the glass, and I told you I like anything with a texture on it, so I did look at that base there. It was pretty. The gold around the rim or silver was kind of warm, so I did put that back. And then just looking at the elegant glass, it was etched. It was pretty. Doesn't sell well. Clear glass doesn't sell well. And it's unfortunate. There's a lot of uh, pretty clear glass out there. I'd like to see it come back. Again, cups. I love the pink in, on the inside and the flowers on the inside. Very pretty. And then I came across this vase, um, Majolica. Um, Majolica is a, a way of painting with a tin or lead-based paint. Generally, the items are very earthy, mossy, green, browns, um, and very desirable. This was a piece of pottery that I missed the last time I, I saw it in, in, when I did the video, and I'm glad I wanted to check it out today. Pretty, but just didn't grab me the way most pottery does, so I did leave that. And then I was looking at the candlesticks. I noticed this one, in, and it is crystal. It was very heavy, just a beautiful candlestick. And unsigned, but there was only one. If there would have been another, I would have gotten it. And then I was just kind of feeling, I just wanted to let you guys know, generally, you, you pick up and feel things. Um, the weight of things will tell you a lot about quality. I looked at those nesting bowls there, and then I saw this note glass plate. I think it was had German on it. I'm not sure what it said. But I love this bowl. I didn't pick it up, but I'm going to go back and get it. I think it's a Westmoreland lace, Doric lace, maybe. I'm not sure on the pattern, but I, I can't believe I left it. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous with that design in there. I think it's Westmoreland. I'm not... 100% sure that I will research it. And I know it's a flower from Just kind of looking, seeing if there's anything else. Another teacup. I like that little vase just to the left there with the flowers. I didn't notice it at the time. And then towards the back of the store, I noticed these lusterware bowls. I thought they were really pretty. They were Japan. There were three of them. Lusterware doesn't do well for me, but it can do well. Don't often see a blue, you know, the blue pieces with the flowers. Generally, it's a orange with a river scene and a boat and some birds. I thought these were pretty with the silver around the top. And then I look, was looking at the snack trays in the back. Those are generally early American press class. Don't sell well, but they're they're cute. Another textured piece. I couldn't make out what was on the bottom. I should, I should just learn that when I can't read it, just to put it down. Because I try so hard, but I will take a magnifying glass with me. And then I looked at this mixing bowl. I, it was nice and heavy, just a nice size. It was cute, but I didn't, I didn't get it today. Looking at the mug, seeing if anything pops out. I noticed this tray. I thought it was really pretty. It was transferware, and it was modern. It had a barcode on the bottom, so it was a vintage one. 
but it was pretty. Lots of plates and bowls, dishes, cups, glass. It's overwhelming sometimes. I thought maybe this was um, a McCoy as well with the drip glaze. Was not marked, but it was pretty. The Santa was cute. I hadn't seen it before. I think these are Westmoreland candlesticks, double candlesticks. They're very pretty, very nice, heavy pieces. And then I noticed this. I think this is a Fenton piece, hobnail. Not marked, but it might have been one that had a sticker. And the sticker was no longer there. It's a nice piece. I'm not sure who the maker of this is. I think it might be Westmoreland, but there's so many um, companies that need milk glass, Anchor Hawking, um, Westmoreland, Fenton, McKee. So it's, it's difficult sometimes, especially when there's no mark. Another glass frog, which I thought was neat. Nice for marbles. It was a Lillian Burnham. And if I remember correctly, I think that's a company that um, looks like they have vintage items, but they're new, but they look old. This is a piece of um, opaque milk glass. It, I think it's an antique piece. Generally, these pieces had um, paint, gold paint, or a dark, you know, black paint around the rim or around the feet, and it always, it's, it wears off. It's very hard to maintain it and um, I love those pieces. I think maybe it's not, but it sure looked like it was an antique piece to me. Some more flower frogs. I wish I would have looked at that picture. I love pictures. I wanted to show you guys this. This is early American press glass, EAPG. It's uh, characteristically very thick. Um, not sharp like cut glass, but generally has sawtooth or some kind of cut pattern in it. Nice, nice. It's antique and it's, they're nice pieces. Again, they don't sell well, but I love them. You get the right people looking. There are people who do collect that. I thought these were unusual. They look like swans, but the, the holder part was so thick. Just unusual. I've never seen anything like it. There were two. I thought I just found that one, but there were two of them. I don't know. Maybe something I have to go back for. Just because it's unusual. Like I said, if I picked up and took home everything I liked in this store, I'd have a truckload full. They get new items in frequently because they do do house cleanouts and things like that. And I noticed this, this is the last part of the video, but I thought maybe it was a Bohemian or Czechoslovakian glass piece. It's hand painted, thin, very delicate. I thought it was very pretty, but I didn't pick it up. And then I wanted to show you the items that I did find and my camera died, so you didn't see me pick them up. But that sleepy eyed Indian, Hager pottery piece, amethyst glass, paperweight, signed, spode glasses. Prior to that, it was some odagiri. I picked up this huge chop plate to match the stangle pottery I got the other day. The Chanala bird, you did see. Pigeon forge pottery, you did see. And then I found some old glass birds unsigned, but I love the color, so I did pick those up. And these are the little dishes with the black poodles. I thought they were really cute. The Majolica vase. And then this was a really nice find. A Fenton hand-painted egg signed by Spindler, I think. J.K. Spindler. So I was pretty lucky. I got a good haul. Thank you for coming along. Like I said, if there's anything that you see or you want me to pick up, don't hesitate to drop me a line at, at my email. I'm also on Facebook. 
and Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.